accidentally on purpose ordered like 3,000 ladybugs. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to this week's plant video. My name is Jessica James and today we're going to be playing with bugs. Ah! This video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. This is going to be more of a POV style. Um, it is Sunday. I am on mom duty. So if you hear some cartoons in the background, if I'm not able to like edit that out, I am sorry. Bear with me. I have to get these bugs out and taken care of today because they have been in the refrigerator for... A few days and I just we need to get going on it we need to put these guys on the plants I'm gonna walk you through the experience of me releasing live ladybugs into my house onto my plant collection and now my arm is killing me so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to like set this because this is not gonna work so I've been kind of battling thrip I don't know that a lot of people would say it's that I'm actually like battling, like that I should be using those words, but I've had thrip in the house for, oh my gosh, it seems like, well, it seems like two months now, like I get plants that have them and then I think that I've eradicated it and then, you know, weeks down the road, the plant looks fine, it's doing fine and then I just happen to see like an adult thrip. I don't know and so like I've got some plants that have some severe like thrip damage on it and I just like with that pest is so quick to um, reproduce. I want to say like they can, I don't know exactly the stats on it. I'll hopefully be able to find that for you and put that up on the screen here. Uh, put that up on the video for you so that you can see but they do reproduce really fast and I want to say that they're asexual so they don't need like partners to reproduce and I don't know they just like literally suck the life out of a plant and the damage is there like it doesn't go away it doesn't get better so like I don't know I just don't like the bug and I have tried um, neem oil I have tried blasting it down with soap soap and water like I've tried all of the like organic ways I've even tried Captain Jack's uh dead bug brew and like that works pretty well it like don't get me wrong like it definitely I would highly recommend that for somebody but I just want to use I want something to be more of like a preventative measure and so since I'm constantly like bringing in new plants um and then I'm selling them now so like they're leaving the house like I just don't want to I just don't want to like constantly have have to spend money on buying products and constantly having to spray the products onto the plants when you use it you're supposed to not like have them in the sun and so i'm always constantly worried worried about um burning the leaves so it's just like this whole thing so i just feel like um bugs is the way to go <laughs> so um so i was trying to decide between mites um and ladybugs um i was really leaning towards the mites um but they're a little bit on the ex more on the expensive side so i thought well let me just try the ladybugs um first and we'll see how that goes um if that doesn't work then we'll that'll be my next measure that'll be my next uh course of action is get the mites so i wanted to take you guys along uh the journey with me here i am here i am how do you do i thought it would be really cool to kind of take you along the journey with me for the process so that you can see um what i'm doing yep you got it easy with that Thank you, thank you. That one's got a new leaf and it's really, it's really gentle right now. We have to be really gentle, okay? See that leaf? That's new and we have to be very soft with it, okay? We don't want it to break. So I thought it would be super interesting um, to just kind of like have you along the journey with me, take you along the process, show you um, how I'm going to do it, what it's going to look like, um, and, and then maybe, you know, kind of take away some of those concerns or fears if you've been thinking about releasing bugs into your house. So let's get to it. They have been in the refrigerator for a few days, so I'm actually going to have to, I think I need to like thaw them. <laughs> they're not frozen, but um, they're definitely slow. And so I think I need to like warm them up. So I think I just need to take them out of the refrigerator, allow them to like warm up to room temperature and get active again. Um, and then I will release them. Now I did go around and water all of my plants last night. Plant doing yeah, that plant is hanging out. Let's set that plant up. Directions did say that you wanted to like irrigate your plants before you release them to kind of. Um, here I am, here I am. How do you do? 
to promote reproduction like immediately so they'll start to reproduce um now i do have to say that when i was shopping for these I accidentally on purpose ordered like three thousand ladybugs <laughs> and now i'm like what am i gonna do with all of these ladybugs there's so many of them and when I got them in, I realized that I definitely overdid it. Um, I did not like do, I probably, it probably, because the package on, says that, I want to say it's like one ladybug per square foot. And so I don't have like 3,000 square feet of plants. Like my house is definitely bigger than that, but there's not, there's not that many plants. Like I'm thinking that that's like all plants, ladybugs, like ratio. So the weather here has been like off and on. It's been kind of like cold for like a while and then a few days of heating up. And so like, I know I could release them outside if the temperature is around like 55, I think is what a friend told me. But I don't know, I feel like really bad now. But I mean, it's kind of one of those situations like put them outside and they could potentially... I got my plant. You got your plant, yeah. They could potentially die outside or they're going to basically like dying like i'm not releasing that many so the direction said to release on like a cloudy like it like dawn or dusk um or even like a cloudy day and so again i think these directions are for like outside gardens i don't know that it necessarily matters if you're releasing them inside your house but it is an overcast day so i feel comfortable you know releasing them even though it's not like dawn or dusk right now as i'm doing this but <laughs> <laughs> um, even though it, even though I am inside and the conditions are different than what it is outside, I think that it is better um, in this room where all of my mother plants are that it is an overcast day because it does get kind of hot and, and sunny in here. And so like, I don't know, I'm just trying to like follow the directions as close as possible. I am considering the fact that it, it is an indoor and I think that these directions are for outdoor, but I just want to make sure that I have the best experience with these guys. So... Okay, so enough chit chat in about all of this. Um, hopefully I didn't leave anything out. If I did, maybe I'll try to remember it um, as I go, but let's get right to it. Um, I'm going to go get these guys out of the refrigerator and get them warmed up. And then we'll just go around and sprinkle a little bit here and there on each plant. And we'll see how it goes. This is the box that they came in, which I thought was pretty interesting. It's got little air holes. Um, I do have to say that these things stink. I don't know, like, I don't really know how to explain what they smell like. Um, I don't know. It's, it's like a really weird smell and I don't, and I'm not sure if it's actually the bugs themselves that have an odor to them or if it's like the stuff that's in the package. So I was a little, um, I was like, well, okay, this smells has a smell to it. So I don't know if you know if ladybugs have like smells to them. Let me know in the comments because I've never experienced a ladybug smell. When I ordered them, they were actually pretty cheap. I probably could have gotten away with a few hundred. And if I'm thinking back off the top of my head, I want to say there was definitely options of like getting a few hundred, which is probably what I should have went with. It's definitely one of those situations where like you're shopping online and you're like, okay, well, the shipping's going to cost more than the actual product. So like, let me buy more product to make it make sense in my head. That's definitely not what you should do with ladybugs, live, live creatures. But yeah, so on my arm, I can't. Yeah. So I don't recommend over purchasing on ladybugs because I think you can only keep them in the refrigerator for two weeks. And then I want to say I Googled it. It actually might've said a month, but it definitely decreases their life expand and so if you're wanting to keep them alive as possible as long as possible which is kind of what I want to do like I want to I would like for them to have like a full lifespan inside take care of any pests that may you know come up um and then you know live out their life happily and then you know when it's over it's over I don't want to like increase that overness you know I've had thrip um I have had a few I did have a plant that had mealybugs on it which is the bizarre thing to me because it's literally out of all of the plants that I have, one plant had mealybugs and a pretty intense amount of them, which was kind of shocking. Like, 
I don't know. It's so weird to me that like one plant can get a bug and none of the other plants have it um, that I've seen. And then I did notice that I've had a few plants have spider mites. And so even in my greenhouse, which was really bizarre to me because I keep the humidity um, around like 68 at least in there. I try to like keep it around 70. Um, so it was kind of shocking to me that, that, that those plants had spider mites. Um, and then I did notice some other plants had spider mites. So I've had three types of bugs going on right now and I just feel like maybe having the ladybugs will prevent it'll be a good preventative and then I don't have to like spray stuff down all the time and then also like worry about bringing in new plants um because I kind of have those little soldiers that are like taking care of everything for me so yeah um okay so here's the package like I said it definitely has an odor to it um I'm going to show it to you I can I really need to find someone that has that can use these guys because there's literally no way that I'm going to be able to use 3,000 ladybugs in the house. So this, each bag has like 300 ladybugs. Okay, one, oh shit, so one. So each of these have like 300, so let me show them to you. Yeah, I think it's that stuff. I don't know that it's them that smells, but I definitely, it smells. I don't really know. Like, look at all that. Oh my god. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It definitely has a smell to it. Let me show you the one that has like the 1500. These are probably the ones that I'm gonna have to just let go. It's, there's like no way in hell. All of those related bugs. Ah, I'm such an airhead. I can't believe I did that. Like I felt so bad. You know. I also bought some nectar because I'm not really sure. Okay, apply. Mix nectar in one quart of water and apply with a spray bottle. So I bought this because, you know, if you don't have pests and nothing for the plants to eat, they're um, the plants to eat, nothing for the bugs to eat, then they're going to die. So I did buy some nectar because, again, I want to keep them alive as long as possible um, and, you know, helping me out. So, but I do want to feed them. So I'm just going to. Just gonna go around and sprinkle them and see how it goes. I know some people might like maybe you're watching this and you're like, uh, there's no way in hell I would release bugs into my house. Um, my understanding and my research shows or you know, tells that it's it's kind of one of those situations where like you sprinkle them onto the base of each plant and they just kind of hang out on those plants. They don't, I mean, you might find some throughout the house, like some bodies here and there, um, maybe some flying around, maybe on the walls. Um, but I don't think it's like, it's not going to be like, you know, a horror movie where there's like bugs everywhere and they're like on you. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think they're going to stay, um, sorry, I'm like hunched over, but my hand, it was just getting too, it was hard for my hand to hold it. So, um, I need one of those like little camera things. Um, but, oh God, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Um, they're going to like chill on their plant cause like that's their home. They want to stay there. That's where they're going to get their food. Um, so like we have stink bugs in our house right now, especially in the winter, they really start to come in and like try to escape the cold and I don't mess with the stink bugs. Like a lot of people will like kill them or throw them back outside. I just let them like live their life, like run their course. They're going to, they're going to die eventually. Um, they hang out on my plants. I'm not a hundred percent sure that they don't help with the pest issue as well. Um, not issue, but you know, prevention. I've read online that like some actually eat bugs and some eat foliage, but I've never, like, I don't see any damage um, on the leaves from any of the stink bugs that are in my house. So I feel like it's going to be very much like that experience. I'm going to see them crawling on the walls every now and then. I'm going to see a few bodies here and there that I have to like sweep up and throw away. Um, but like, it's not a nuisance. So I don't feel like it's going to be like this nuisance things, which hopefully because um, all of my mother plants are actually in my dining room where we eat. So I was a little concerned when, um, I was debating on, like when I was trying to decide between the ladybugs and, um, the mites, that was like one of the things that made me be like, maybe I should go with mites because they don't fly and crawl out. They like stay there in the soil. Like you get them and you put them in like this around the soil and they're very small and they're only active at night. And so I thought, Maybe I should go that route, but they're a lot more expensive and the ladybugs are just a lot cheaper. And that was honestly the reason that was the determining factor for me right now is that they're cheaper. Um, I feel like I felt like I was going to just try this out. So hopefully when we're eating dinner, we don't have like, you know, just like bugs like landing in our hair or on our, on our food. I don't think it's going to be like that. 
I will let you know. <laughs> I have a group of plants that I got that actually do have thrip. Like I know they have thrip. I can see it. It's terrible. Um, so we're going to, I feel like those are going to be like my real test guys to like have, you know, they haven't been sprayed with anything at all. I haven't treated them. I actually debated on throwing them away because I was like, I don't want thrip. Like this is bad. So I felt, I felt like maybe this would be a good opportunity to like really have a solid test. Um, put the ladybugs with those plants and then if like I'm not seeing any thrip at all then like I feel like oh shit this is like gonna be a really good preventative mess uh preventative but also like um you know kind of like an acute care treatment like a take care of the problem now I'll see you in the next clip <laughs> we are looking very active and ready to go also I definitely feel like once I cut this open like I have to I have to go like I can't stop it is, there's no resilient this back, so um, I think I'm ready. Okay, so here is the room that we're starting in first. It is definitely not clean. Um, I feel like it's very chaotic in here. I've actually sold a lot of plants in the last couple weeks, so everything's kind of in a little bit of disarray, but you can see here we have a lot. We have a lot to take care of and the greenhouse. And then I have another room that has plants um, that I that are like for sale these are mainly just my mother plants um but yeah so we just kind of start at one corner and work our way around okay so here we go i'm just gonna like try to shake shake these guys down so that i can have a corner that's like open it's not cluttered with bugs so that i can just basically like sprinkle them out i just realized that like i'm not getting that on camera good okay there we go so here we go. Oh gosh, they're coming to the hole. They're like, freedom. Okay. It's almost like they knew. They knew what was going on. Oh yeah, they're gonna, they're like trying to climb out. Oh my gosh, the chaos. Okay, uh, here we go. So I'm just gonna like put this over here and just kind of maybe let them just climb out. There they go. They're like, oh, I'm getting out of here. So there are the first guys that have climbed out. I'm just trying to like shake them off. It's like they know. It's like they know. All right, next plant. Kind of hard to see, but there those guys are. Got a few here. Oh, I already have one on me. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to film myself very well doing this because they are like, they're climbing out and getting on me and it's kind of freaking me out just a little bit. I went around and sprinkled sprinkled bugs ladybugs on every mother plant that I have I just realized that I didn't do my up top plant so but I will do that because um, I still have more bugs that I need to do something with so I'm looking <laughs> sorry I'm just like looking around and they're like on my window so like I can kind of see them like chilling um, but I also see like some stink bugs too so I don't know it was a very, it felt a little chaotic. I mean, as soon as I cut open that bag, they were just, they were like, it's like they knew the hole was there and they were like trying to climb out. And so that kind of freaked me out a little bit. And I'm not scared of bugs. Like I actually quite love bugs. I think that they're interesting creatures. I've always loved bugs, um, but I don't want them crawling on me. So like that whole, like trying to hold the camera and trying to sprinkle while they're like crawling out my hand was a little, was a little freaky. Um, so I don't know if there's a better way to release them. If you know, if you've done this before, please let us know in the comments if there's like a better way to like release them that isn't so like alarming to somebody. Um, Cause I could imagine that <clears throat> if you're not like super keen on bugs, that that might would freak you out a little bit. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know that I put enough out. I didn't really know like how many that I needed to put out like per plan. I just tried to like shake off as many. I didn't want to have like a ton of them around the house because like obviously I don't want 3,000 ladybugs in my house. 
Um, so I don't know if there's like a perfect number for it. I just kind of like, I don't know. I just did what I, I felt like was good. This is more of like a preventative type measure and maybe get the few bugs that are here. Cause like I said, I did, I did see spider mites, which I've treated them. So I'm hoping that having these good guys around, um, when that life cycle of either the thrip or the spider mites or even the mealy bugs, um, on that one plant, like that they'll catch those at the earlier stages so that there isn't, you know, adult bugs who can reproduce. So like, that's the ultimate goal there. Um, I don't know if I had to do it again, <laughs> I might actually would go for the mites. And I say that because the whole like crawling bug crawling around thing, I don't know how I feel about that. Like at first, like when I was contemplating doing this whole thing, I wasn't, I was like, oh yeah, ladybugs, it'll be totally fine. It's okay. I have stink bugs and they don't bother me. So like, this will be okay. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if it's just like the, I don't know. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes. Like, I, and I may change my mind, like as days, weeks pass by. Um, and I see that it's not really an issue. Like I'm not, I think I'm just like really freaked out about that whole like bugs crawling on my hand thing. I don't know. But I do think that maybe in the future, if I do it again, I might do the mites. Um, just because I know that they, um, are going to like stay in the pot, I think. I might be wrong on that. If you've ever done mites, let me know. But I think from the research that I've done that they stay like in the pot, in the dirt. Um, they only come out at night. So you only really see them if you even see them at all at night. Um, so yeah, I might do an updated video if you all would like to see like an updated video of like my thoughts on this, you know, months down the road or, or weeks down the road, maybe probably about a month, I would say would be a good time. Um, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to kind of give you guys an update on my thoughts of having live ladybugs in the house. Um, I do think I want to have a tent that's specific for quarantine plants. So like plants that maybe I get in that I know for sure have bugs. Um, I can like throw them in the quarantine plant, uh, quarantine tent with bugs. Um, but the only problem is, is that like, unless I gather up the live ones that are like crawling around my house, um, <clears throat> I don't know that I want to, I'm not, I can't like keep them on hand frozen or chilled because they don't last that long. They are living creatures. So I don't know. I'm just kind of, you know, this is a growing process. This is a learning process. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want to see an update. Um, thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you spending time with me today and, um, I hope that it was educational. I hope that it was entertaining. I hope that, um, it brought some value to you. Um, and maybe even some encouragement if you've been thinking about doing, um, live, live bugs or, um, different forms of pest control. Uh, maybe it'll give you some encouragement and some thoughts on the idea. Um, of course, if you liked the video, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up. Um, and then if you want to see more of my content, just consider subscribing and you'll be in my community. I would love to have you along for this journey. Don't forget to give yourself lots of love, lots of grace this week, and of course, treat yourself to a plant. I will see you in the next video. Bye!